What's going on everybody? My name is Jay and in this quick video I want to show you how you can convert Sketch to HTML. Now Sketch right now is my favorite app to design user interfaces. So this is what you're gonna see when you open Sketch. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click new document. I'm gonna click shoes right here. And this is what you're gonna see. Everything is blank, nothing is in there. So I'm gonna click here, insert and then artboard. Now in your right, you're gonna see a huge list of options like iPad, iPhones, all those things. So I'm gonna choose desktop high definition. Let me zoom out a little bit here. And here you can see that we have is 1440 by 1024. That's fine, you can change it right here dragging or you can change it right here okay so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to change this white background so you can just click on the name of your artboard click right here and background color here in the color picker you can choose whatever you want i'm going to choose like a dark gray or something like that mm, like that all right let's create something real quick right now I'm gonna insert a rectangle. So click on insert, shape, rectangle. You can just drag. And let's say we want right here on the size, I can change it. For now, I'm gonna do 500 by 500. All right, here we have the fill, you can change it. And we have a border, I'm gonna uncheck the border because I don't want borders. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. And what I want, something very simple, is just a title and then a little paragraph right here. That's all I want right now. So I'm gonna click on this rectangle. I'm gonna add a shadow, I think. Let's see how it looks. Let's add some blur. All right. The alpha channel, let's go a little bit down. All right, let's just, let, let's leave it like that. Let's add a title, so I'm gonna click insert text I'm gonna click right here and um, let's say convert sketch to HTML okay I think that's good let's change the size maybe 36 pixels something like that okay and the color a little bit more darker all right Okay, I'm cool with that. What I want now is a paragraph, so let's do the same thing, text. And now I'm gonna click and drag. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just press escaped. So I'm gonna deselect this. And I'm using a plugin named Craft. And you can see it right here. This is a plugin named Craft by Envision. Now, you can add like uh, placeholders, images, you know, stuff like, like dummy content. So right now I'm gonna use Lauren Epson, maybe Lauren Epson long, let's see. All right, let's change the size to maybe 16 pixels, something small, it's a paragraph. So let's say 16. All right, so let's say I want, uh, let's say 30 pixels between the title and the paragraph. If you click, let's say I click this paragraph and you press Alt and then you hover different uh, elements, you can see uh, the distance like this one right here is set 30 pixels between the title and the paragraph and that's perfect because I know that in the CSS I need to add some margin there and is 30 pixels, perfect. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to add some padding to all this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to select everything here. I'm gonna right click, group selection. Now everything is a group, so you can see here in the layers, we have a folder and everything is inside that folder. And now I'm gonna use another awesome plugin because this is what I like about Sketch. You can install a ton of plugins that can help you in the process. Right, so I have the group selected. I'm gonna go here to plugins, modulizer. 
apply padding. And when you click apply padding, you have an input right here. First one is the top, second one right, the bottom and the left. But I want the same padding for all the sides. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove all. And I'm gonna say, let's say 30 pixels for all sides. I'm gonna click OK. And there you have it. We have 30 pixels of padding and we can just go inside the group and let's select, let's say the paragraph plus the title. If you press Shift, you can select both. I'm gonna press Alt and I'm gonna select the rectangle and look at that. We have 30 pixels. Perfect. All right, now I think we are good with the design. That's all I want to do in my HTML. So let's go to my text editor. You can see I have a very, very basic uh, HTML5 boilerplate. So we're gonna do everything right here. I have a, a reset CSS and style CSS, which is, is, is empty, all right? So what I need, let's go back. What I need here is just the rectangle and then inside is the title and a paragraph. All right, let's go back. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a div. Let's say, let's give it a class of rectangle, for example, it can be whatever you want. Then inside that div, I'm gonna create an H1, that's the title, plus a paragraph, okay? And by the way, I'm using Amet. It's a plugin that I use for this kind of things. And here we have it. We have the rectangle, the title, and the paragraph. Okay, let's get the content for now. So the title, I'm just gonna copy the text. Copy right here and the paragraph. All right, awesome, I'm gonna save that. Now let's take a look how this is looking right now. Let's go to the browser, let's go here, and look at that, looking so beautiful. Let's go back to the text editor, where are you? Right here. Okay, let's go to the style.css. By the way, all these files are gonna be available in the description below, you can go there and download them. So let's go back to sketch. Let's go to the group right here on the rectangle. That's the first style that I wanna get. I'm gonna right click and right here, it says copy CSS attributes. Okay, I'm gonna click there. I'm gonna go back to my text, my text editor and you can see that we have a class of rectangle. Okay, so we have to create that class, rectangle. And we're gonna paste whatever we copy from Sketch, all right? We have the background color and the shadow. Awesome. You can remove this comment. Sketch is gonna add whatever uh, the name of that layer is gonna add it right there as a comment, so you can remove it. All right, let's save that. Let's see how, it's look, how it looks. And look at that. We have that great thing what we don't have any kind of padding we have the shadow right there you can see it so let's go back to sketch this right now is 460 pixels right so let's add max width of 460 pixels and very important our padding of 30 pixels save Let's reload the page and here we go. Now we still have this white background. Let's change that. Click on the name of the artboard and you will see here the color. So which one was it? All right, 666, okay. It's not a beautiful number, but I like the gray color. Let's go. Body and the background is gonna be 666. Safe. Reload the page. And we have that beautiful color. So now we need to add some CSS to the title and the paragraph. So let's go back here. Let's click here. If you want to get inside the group, you can just double click and now you're inside. So you can choose whatever is inside that group. 
So the same thing, let's right click on the title, copy CSS attributes, go back to the, to the text editor, and now we need to rectangle H1, that's the title, and paste. All right, so it's saying that the font family is Helvetica, font size 36 pixels and the color. Awesome. Let's remove this right here. Let's save it. Let's see how it looks. Perfect. All right, so remember that margin that I added? So I'm going to press Alt. And you can see that we have 30 pixels in the bottom. So let's go there. And here, add margin bottom 30 pixels let's see how it looks and look at that beautiful margin all right same thing with the paragraph let's click there copy css attributes go back to the text editor let's create a class with the paragraph which is the p tag and paste all right, so it's saying that the font family is Helvetica, size is 16, and the color. Let's remove the comment. Let's save, and let's reload the page. And look at that, so beautiful. All right, so I think it's looking pretty good. Now, there is something that I really want to do. I want to center this vertically and horizontally. In Sketch, I have another beautiful plugin, awesome plugin, named Auto Layout. Right here at the bottom, you can see it. So right now, I can choose Pin. So I'm gonna do Pin on to the center and Pin to the center vertically. And here you go. Now, look at what happened right now. It doesn't matter the size of your artboard is going to stay centered. And this is really good when you're creating different, um, let's say that I want to duplicate this because I want to create a bigger, uh, let's say, so I know how, how it's going to look on a phone or a HD TV or whatever. This is so helpful, believe me. So I'm going to link all the plugins that I'm using in the description below. So go and get them if you like them. I need to center this using CSS. Let's go back to the CSS. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use Flexbox. If you don't know Flexbox, you better search because it is the best thing in the world. So display, I'm gonna use the body because it's the parent of the rectangle. So display flex. And the height, instead of putting 100%, I'm gonna put 100 vertical height. I don't think this is compatible with Internet Explorer 8 or something like that. But there are other options if you don't like it. Uh, Internet Explorer, sorry. All right, so now I need to justify content, center, and align, align items center so this is going to align my rectangle horizontally and align items is going to align my rectangle vertically so i'm going to save that let's see if that's true oh yeah so right now it doesn't matter the size of your screen this thing is centered Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.